Each day we're at risk of falling victim to a scam, but what about our kids? Call for Action's Keith King shows us how a Metro teenager became the latest victim to a common scam. Krista and Mark, good evening. Recently I told you about the mystery shopper scam. You get an offer in the mail to go shopping and rate the customer service. The offer includes a paycheck. Well, tonight, parents, you might want to remind your kids of the risks that can happen. Daniel Lang recently moved away from his home and into his own place. The 19-year-old works hard to save his money. So when an offer came in the mail to be a consumer service evaluator, along with a check for $1,394, Lang thought he could make some money. I thought about it for a couple days, but... I was really hurting for money, so it was just like, why not? He deposited the check in his credit union. Then, as instructed on the letter, he wired $950 plus 90 in fees as a way to evaluate Western Union. He could keep 300 for the job. Days later, Lang got a call from his credit union informing him the check he deposited was no good, and he was out nearly 1400 bucks. I had no idea that these scams were going on. The mystery shopper scam has been around for a long time. I recently reported on this when a KCK woman got a similar offer. I called the number on the letter. They hung up. The reality is the sneaky scammers lurk in the shadows while sending out these letters hoping you fall for their slick pitch. Lang's mom saw my report. He was just the perfect kid. Always. She contacted Call for Action after her teenage son became the latest victim. To see him taken advantage of that way, because he's young, naive, yeah, it made me very mad as a mom. It makes me scared and angry that people are just, it makes me think that everyone out in the world is just out to get you and there's no one you can really trust. Well, I spoke to Western Union this afternoon. A company spokesperson says that they train their employees to be on the lookout for possible scam victims. They also try to educate customers about scams like this, and their service is mainly for people to send money to family and friends, not as a business tool. Now, you can find tips on ways to avoid scams like this. Just go to KSHB.com, click money, and then call for action. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.